Wholeness is what is meant by the word integer. We recognize two students, one young man and one young woman, who exemplify complete formation according to their peers, teachers, and administrators. The Integer Award recognizes those two students who have consistently demonstrated exceptional characteristics of leadership and apostleship, assimilating the highest ideals of all four areas of formation, intellectual, human, spiritual, and apostolic. These two individuals will receive their customary medal and plaque during the commencement exercises tomorrow, but they will give their integer speeches now during the baccalaureate mass, as is our tradition. Our female integer award winner is a young woman who exemplifies what it means to be a Christian leader. She is dutiful, kind, and always seeks to uplift those around her. She stands out for her personal humility and her love for the Pinecrest community. This young woman gives her best to Christ in the classroom, with her friends, and in every opportunity to serve. At this time, I am so proud and pleased to introduce this year's Female Integer Award winner for the class of 2022, Claire Hoover. Thank you. <laughs> it is an honor to be speaking in front of all of you tonight. This class is full of people who are worthy of this award, so I'm truly honored to be receiving it. I cannot believe we are graduating. I remember staring at my sixth grade Paladin Portal username. It was my name with a 22 at the end of it. My 11-year-old self couldn't fathom the idea of graduating in 2022. But here we are. I get what they mean now when they say, it'll fly by. I've been at Pinecrest for 14 years, and I know I speak for a lot of students when I say, it is my home. It is the place in which I find the truest forms of love, support, and charity. Leaving this place and these people will be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Looking back on these 14 years, I recognize two themes that are unique to Pinecrest, family and tradition. The Pinecrest community is like no other. These families gathered here tonight are my family. These students are like my brothers and sisters. A lot of us have grown up together. We support each other like family, we mess with each other like family, and we love each other like family. We have laughed, cried, and learned together, and I'm proud to call this my family. I can say with confidence that all members of the class of 2022 live up to the Pinecrest mission statement. We are Christian leaders who will transform society, but we did not become this by ourselves. We are the product of the constant efforts of the faculty and staff members here at Pinecrest. I cannot stress enough how valuable each one of these people is. I was trying to come up with some way to summarize the impact they've had on us then I realized I should just share some of the things they would want us to remember. Mr. Montana would remind us that everything is a grace. Ms. J would tell us to make good choices. Mr. Martelli would want us to remember that reading is fundamental. And Ms. Jordan would remind us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the Pinecrest faculty and staff members for the constant example of Christian leadership you have given us. Your selflessness does not go unnoticed, and you are the reason Pinecrest is so special. In our passing of the torch ceremony our junior year, senior Mark Metz reminded us to live in the moment, be involved, and enjoy every minute. We took this to heart. I promised myself in August that I would not let senior years slip away without enjoying everything, and that's what I did. That is what we did. We were all in. That's one of my favorite things about this class. We are all in. A perfect example of this is our constant support for athletics through Paladin Nation. 
our fearless spirit leader, Will Howell, always reinforced the idea that this was our last year, so we had to be at everything we could possibly be at. Because of this, the community saw probably one of the loudest and most supportive student sections we've ever had. There were many times when we would attend three sporting events in one day. The crazier thing was that at almost all of the tennis matches, we had a student section of at least 10 people. <laughs> Ms. McGraw can tell you that that has never happened before. I will forever miss dressing out in the theme for all the sporting events, and I will never forget the post-soccer game mosh pits on the field after every playoff win. I also want to give a special thank you to our student co-presidents, Oscar Lynch and Kate Prados, and our vice president, Nick Bone, for the constant modeling of this all-in mentality. Our class has really stepped up because of you guys and has made Paladin Nation the family that it is and will always be. We hold the Pinecrest traditions very close to our hearts. They remind us of the Pinecrest legacy that we will carry with us into the next chapter of our lives. Some of them include the Angel Parade, the Kindergarten Circus, the March for Life trip, Powder Puff, which our class won two years in a row, Field Day, and the Senior Parade. Along with these traditions come hundreds of memories. Another thing I love about this class is how we made the most of every moment whether it was listening to Mr. Rick in DC, observing a debate in Dr. Stone's class, watching the lunchtime trash can rides, screaming at the top of our lungs at a basketball game, or even playing telephone on the senior mission trip. <laughs> we made every moment special. I like to think of all the memories in this gym. Our very own kindergarten circus took place here 13 years ago. Many of us have grown up within these walls. I like to think about the basketball and volleyball games, award ceremonies, plays, band concerts, art shows, all school masses, and pep rallies that have happened here. I also think of places like the OLG Chapel, where some of us spent many mornings and afternoons. When we leave, a piece of our hearts will forever be left on this campus but may we never forget the impact that it had on us. I want to thank my mom and dad for the opportunity to spend all 14 years of my education here. I would not be up here without you. This is your award too. Thank you to my entire family for the past 18 years of support and guidance. Chances are at any event, everybody knows who my family is because they're constantly cheering my name. <laughs> like that. <laughs> to my best friends, thank you for all the memories. Thank you for continuing to inspire me and push me out of my comfort zone. I can say I'm the best version of myself when I'm with you, and I will forever thank Pinecrest for our friendships. Finally, to my class, thank you for the privilege I've had growing up alongside you. Thank you for all the laughs, cries, and lessons. Thank you for being all in. I challenge us. I challenge us to never forget where we came from, to always remember the PA family and traditions that have formed us into who we are. We must not be afraid of what the world has to offer because we have a big Pinecrest family standing right behind us. Do not be afraid to swim against the current be countercultural. Our current mindset and ways of thinking will be challenged when we leave this Pinecrest bubble. St. Ignatius of Loyola tells us to go forth and set the world on fire. We must set the world on fire with the knowledge and confidence that we have developed here at Pinecrest and use it to transform society. We are called to be apostles and fight for truth the truth that we have come to know here at Pinecrest. We must remember to carry ourselves in a way that tells people we are Christians. We must trust in God, be kind, and see each day as a gift from him. To Pinecrest, this is not goodbye. I know I will be back. Thank you for being my home for the last 14 years. As I look around at all these faces, 
I can't help but feel overwhelmed with gratitude. If I had one word to describe my experience here, it would be special. The memories, the people, the traditions, they're all so special. Thank you, God bless, and go dogs. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. Just beautiful. Thank you.